What's going on guys? p -Dog here and I decided to do some commentary over some AE 2012 PC gameplay. So basically this commentary is just going to be reiterating what I was saying about playing Street Fighter 4 on the PC. I've never actually played a fighting game on the PC if you exclude GGPO. And so what I've been doing is uh, I, bought, I bought the game at a very cheap price. Um, and basically I've been, I downloaded it, all that good stuff, all works fine. I did say in the description of my very first video of this that, uh, that there were some problems with this, with the uh, AE2012 playing it, and those problems were stuff like uh, my monitor, my, I'm, I use an HDTV, my monitor, 22 inch HDTV is my monitor at the moment, that's like a template monitor, and so I'm having some problems of like I think the, the monitor itself is just a bit laggy, which is kind of upsetting because, you know, it's whenever you're playing a game like Street Fighter, it's not very good to have a very laggy monitor, but I've been trying stuff like on the training mode, and even then it's been a bit slow, like even if I'm, off, if I'm offline. Some other stuff has been like, for example, my controller that I use is, uh, my, the wired one that I use, I had to get a new one whenever I was playing this on the 360, because the wired one that I have, it has a weird input thing with the buttons, and you may see this during this during all these gameplays, where if you if you look at my Carter, that's the the only reason why I put the input display on was because of this, and it's because the odd time you may see my controller and my inputs furiously go up and down, up and down, up and down, like really quickly, or just down or just up. But you'll see like about five to ten inputs just of of downs, and obviously you know it's not really that possible for me to do like ten down motions in a second. So whenever you see something like that, that's just my controller playing up. So, and that's the second one. The third one is regarding fraps, and that's because fraps, it kind of slows down the game a little bit, which is kind of upsetting. So if I was to do like a live commentary, like it's a bit, it's kind of hard for me to play. It still is kind of hard for me to play on the PC anyway, and the frap, like the, the the frame, the frame droppage isn't really that significant whenever I'm already playing on like a laggy monitor or a controller that sometimes bugs out, which is why I haven't been playing very well on. AE 2012 on the PC, hence why some of these gameplays you may see me like drop combos, or you may see me just like miss anti airs or, or anything. Like you'll see me hitting the buttons, but then you won't see anything coming out. So there you go, there's an example there. If you've just seen that medium punch, it was supposed to be a sweep. And then I try I think I did the sweep, I don't know what happened there, but that was something that I, I know I'm very capable of doing so in the Xbox, you know, in the my preferred settings. But no, it's still good. I'm still having fun with it. The gameplay you're seeing at the moment is all Able and reuse, I believe. Yes, they're all able and re, re uh, replays. So I didn't record this live because I just figured I'll play a few matches today and then I'll just upload some of these. So I just picked out some of the some of the cream of the crop because some of the videos I was pl some of the matches I was playing were kind of not exactly the best matches I've ever played. Like you know, some of the matches are very laggy. Some of the matches had like my control really acting up. So some matches I did have to omit. Most of which, by the way, it was me losing, I'm not gonna lie. Like, most of the matches of me losing were because of these, like, you know, flipping problems. So, it's just stuff like I can't really help unless I was to, like, buy a new monitor and also to buy a new controller. But that, that, of course, costs money, money that I do not have. So, until then, we'll be watching some of this gameplay. Like, they're still pretty good. Like, people have been saying to me that the quality of people on AE and the PC is kind of the And I'm afraid I'll kind of have to agree with it because I've fought people with like B pluses and Bs that really weren't that good. But of course, you can still kind of see that in, in you know, Xbox and PS3. But I mean, in this game, it seems a bit more cause for concern. In addition to the ridiculous leaderboards, as I hinted at in my PC tester video of this game, where there was like flipping. <laughs> where like. The top like five people had like 99 like million battle or player points, and I was just like, okay, that's completely false. So I've been playing it like it's still it's still pretty fun. Like uh, it's still like uh, still takes my time. You know, I can still I can still play quite comfortably. It's still a game I would go to if I was to play on the PC. So it's been pretty enjoyable, I would say. The characters I've been playing have been e able for some. Or, <laughs> the reason why I'm playing able is just because well. I think I always thought Evil was quite fun, and I never really wanted to play him. There's a nice little option set by me, and uh, and I always wanted to play him on the Xbox. But then I figured if I played him on ranked, you know, my points would just absolutely plummet, and then I'd like, cry. In this game, I figured it's a good little training start for me. Instead of I start at zero zero battle points and player points, because I'm doing this on games for Windows. Therefore, 
I figured I might as well try a new character, so I'm going to try Abel, so that's what I did. I got him to 1,000 uh, battle points, which you'll see at the very end of this video, I do upload the match where I got my 1,000 battle points. That'll be the very final match, and uh, it was a pretty interesting match, to say the least. There's me completely flipping to drop a super exam scrub, because I thought it was going like, to go the other way. So I guess while I'm here, obviously I'm not going to cover what flipping like 14 and a half minutes of gameplay just by commentary. So, oh, there, there's a nice little combo there. I'm actually pretty surprised I got that one out, to be honest. It's stuff like that, though. That's why I don't play Seth in PC. If I was to play Seth in PC, I'd drop every single flipping button, so it'd be absolutely horrific. So I figured to stick basic. I've been playing Gal as well, which is Zang Zangief's the best, but I mean, Gal's another close contender. Alright, so while I'm here, I might as well talk about another big Street Fighter 4 update that's going to be happening, or big news, in which Street Fighter 4 is, is going to get an update again. Which a lot of people have had very mixed feelings about. People were just like, "Oh, I don't want, I don't want this game to get a flipping update." I can kind of understand where they're coming from because, well, it's you know, like the game is what it came out since then, like 2009 or something. Yeah, so a lot of people are probably getting steal with it. Like, I mean, the only major update was the one in, you know, from Street Fighter 4 to Super Street Fighter 4, where they added, you know, 10 new characters and all the new stages and stuff. And obviously, people really enjoyed that. Whereas AE was kind of, like the arcade edition patch, it kind of added some stuff to it, you know, added the four characters, it didn't add any stages, no more trials, it added a kind of lackluster arcade mode for those two, for those four characters, which a lot of people didn't really like, me included. Also at that time I was, that was never I was really heavily into Street Fighter, and so I was flipping fanboying over anyway. Then in direct response to that they also released version 2012 at the end of that year where they nerfed Yun and Yang and Fei Long and stuff because they were like the best characters. And now we're kind of at this iteration where there isn't really a a best character in this game. A lot of people say that you know, oh that was a nice little combo by <laughs> No, that was a nice little one frame link. No, but um... People have been kind of uh, like like they like a lot of people have been saying Kami's the best, Akuma's the best, Seth's the best, and Seth that's ridiculous. But <laughs> but I mean like people have been saying all that stuff, and it's and but it's still good because there isn't a majority top tier character despite all the pros, all like the Street Fighter professionals like Justin Wong, PR Bora, Chris G. Uh, they're all moving to like uh, to like top t top tier characters like Fei Long. I think they're all going to. So they're dropping the characters that are like Rufus and Balrog and Sakura, characters that you thought may have been good and may have been good in earlier iterations of Street Fighter. Now they're just dropping them. So it kind of begs the question: Is there is this game really going to turn into like Super Turbo, where it's now like just uh, like the, the top like five characters are going to be the only characters played in the 39 character ros roster? However, we've been rest assured because now they've made an update. And so, goodness knows what they're gonna do. A lot of people are worrying that Capcom may not know what the heck is going on, so they'll start like just buffing ridiculous characters again. However, Capcom reassured us and said, "Oh, we'll let you vote for what changes you want." And so, people have said, "Oh, that's that's a bit better." But at the same time, some people still are on the fence about it because they're like, "Well, we want a new game," because it, like they had, they said they had a huge announcement. They're not really releasing any new games, any new fighting games to say. In their like panel at PAX East, all they did was uh. All they did was announce a remastering of DuckTales, they, they're releasing Dungeons and Dragons, and they're also releasing another Street Fighter 4 update. So a lot of people would have understandably been, been upset that they didn't announce like Street Fighter 5, or a lot of people are saying that they're really upset and they don't have an update to Marvel. Which, I think I've seen some people say that the people that run Marvel are kind of like, uh, we didn't really want to do that, like it's not really confirmed yet. So I guess like, Street Fighter 4 is kind of like the back, you know, it's like the easy way out. It's like, oh well, we got to release something new, quick let's go release another version of Street Fighter 4. So I can understand how some people may not like it. Personally, I actually think it's pretty cool, because as you can see, I still really like Street Fighter, I still play it quite a lot. And so anything that gets all the people back, like all the all of the fans back, you know, it's... Yeah, I, I embrace it as well, so I look forward to the first few days of it coming out where everyone's going to be playing Street Fighter 4 again for like the first time in over a year at this point. And it'll be interesting. As for what changes they could do, uh, I've been trying to think about what changes they could do. I mean, like there isn't really much you can change in this game, which is why a lot of people were scratching their heads that Capcom's even doing this. But I mean, because the game is quite balanced out for a Street Fighter game. Because if you think about games like Third Strike, you got Yun, Chun Li, and Ken. Those are the three best. Look at even like Super Turbo. You know there are some good characters in there, but there's some characters are actually useless. This game actually does seem quite balanced, in which people can play like any character and be really successful with them. 
Like, you can think of, like, several characters and, like... Or you can think of a character and several players apply them to a very high level and do quite well with them. Now, obviously, the people, like, Daigo and stuff, and other people, like, I'm trying to think now, like... Daigo, Infiltration, like, Infiltration plays Hakan, even makes Hakan look looking good. Same with Goken as well, he plays Goken. So, I mean, you can think of all these different characters that could be used very well at the right hands. So, people are thinking, should they really buff them? Should they really nerf them? Should they really do this, that, and the other? Like, so, I'm, I'm very confused as to what they might do, but I'm also excited, so hopefully they don't have, they don't throw anything really bad. So I'm going to interrupt this little topic to say that this is the beatdown match. As you can see, I'm fighting, like, the number four Vega, because the top three are, like, the nine, 99 million battle points. So yeah, I'm fighting, like, the number one Vega here, and this is when, and I actually get bodied here, but I figured I might as well upload it, because why not? <laughs> so, enjoy my bodying session. But, like, like I was saying, like... People have been saying, oh, hopefully they don't, like, buff people like Yan and Ryu is another one that people are saying, please don't buff Ryu because we get enough reuse. Ryu. People are also saying that hopefully they don't nerf, like, Kami and Akuma and stuff. And Seth. <gasps> please do Seth. Because if they nerf them to, like, high heavens and no one's going to play them. And I'll be very upset by that. Because, you know, I've been a Seth player since Street Fighter 4, like, Super Street Fighter 4. And so, obviously, I didn't just jump in the bandwagon. I'd be really upset to see Capcom just, just throw in the tile and say, fine. People have been complaining about Seth, because people have been complaining about Seth since Punko did well at EVO. And now all of a sudden people are like, oh well, now you got a nerf from Capcom. And it's surprising, he did get a few nerfs in, in version 2012, with like, uh, stuff like the stomps not comboing correctly, or maybe that was me, I don't even know. But yeah, like removing some stuff, removing some damage, etc. And now people, oh, me and me especially, is hoping that they don't nerf him completely like to, to beyond useless. I mean he has the final boss so I guess you can't just neck and be that terrible. Seth has never actually been that bad in any Street Fighter game to be honest so hopefully they don't change it over this one. As as for what name they may call it, I have no idea. They can call it like flipping version 2013, like they're gonna do a cross Tekken. They could call it like flipping I don't even know like Street Fighter 4 Turbo Edition or something, I have no idea what they would do. But the weird thing is that people might compare this to like Street Fighter 2 in its iterations. But the thing about Street Fighter 2 is they they added something new, like all their iterations. For example, like in Super Street Fighter 2, they added, you know, the, like the new card, like, was it six new characters? I don't even know. And then with Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, they made they made it like much faster and so made it like Turbo Mode. So with stuff, they kind of added some other stuff to it. People were quite upset with version 2012 because all they did was add balance changes. And so that's why people are really hoping that this... They haven't really said if it was going to just balance up there. Maybe something even more. Because people have been speculating maybe we can get new characters. Maybe we can get some new stages. Maybe we should get some new trials. Maybe we can get some new this, that, and the other. So people are very optimistic with what Capcom's going to do. I am also quite optimistic because I really hope that they don't just say, Oh, here's another balance patch. Because, I mean... This this will probably be the final patch for Street Fighter 4 because now we're kind of in this limbo between like new generations of consoles. So they can't just like they can't just like do nothing with it and say, oh well, here's a balance change now. Here we're gonna start making the new game. If they want to finish this with this being the final, they should go with a bang and make Street Fighter 4 be played right up until they announce their new like Street Fighter game, whether it be Street Fighter 5 or something else. For all we know, Street Fighter Cross Tekken 2. Yeah, exactly. No, obviously not. Oh, <laughs> well, they better not let them do it. But, uh, I did not see it coming. I absolutely did not see an update coming for this game. I thought that after version 2012 it was over, and they were like, right, that's it, we're done with this game. But no, but, you know, it was so well balanced. Well, I say well, but I mean, it, it was good for, for Capcom standards, let's put it that way. It was good balance, it was raw balance. So, I'm pretty surprised about it, but nevertheless, I will still play it. And I will complain about it on my YouTube channel if it does suck, and then we'll all demand Capcom to make another one, despite the fact they'll start making Street Fighter 5. Which I have no idea what the heck Street Fighter 5 is going to be like, by the way, if they're, they made it like this. Here's hoping it's not going to be like cross tech, and let's put it that way. I don't want any more like 1, 2, 3, 4 combos and stuff into like ridiculous, like neon fucking camo. Oh, I don't even want to talk about it. Don't want to talk about it. Okay, so we're approaching the end of this match anyway, so. Besides, uh. As you can see, the high camper. Oh my gosh, look at that combo. And I should be finishing up here. Oh, he air grabs me, so just delaying the inevitable. Here we go. Ba, 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 and boom. Done. Done and dusted. So that's the second B rank I can. I've had to take care of my Milkman Able. But that's the end of this commentary. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and all my topics I had to share. And I'll probably come back with you with some more Street Fighter 4 on the PC. So I've, my name's been Pete Oak, and I'll see you guys later.